fly all around his neck. And there was a sort of flying jacket on top. That's what I saw, sir, before he ran away. You're good at acting, aren't you? It's going to be one. What? 20 pence to talk to you now, Patsy Bly. Quite a performer, our Patsy. Mm, she's really got talent. I bet she's pleased with herself. She isn't, you know. Look at that face. Hey, what's the matter? I'm all right. Has Joe said something to you? No, there's nothing the matter. Come on, let's get that makeup off you. Here. Use some of this cream and there are some tissues. I never realised it was this line we was coming on. Well, I used to know it like the back of me hand down here. Been a few changes, though. Hardly recognise some of it. It used to be all orchards, all cherry orchards, from the railway line to the river. There it is. Look out there. Look at them. Well, oh, that definitely ain't changed since I was a kid. Well, I think what I used to get up to up on top of them, boy. So I mean dangerous? Dangerous? You ain't kidding. We used to swim down here and all. Down the bottom, past the orchards. Blimey, if my old man had known what I got up to when I was a kid, he'd have gone barmy. Well, I wouldn't have been here to tell you about it, that's for sure. I like to swim myself. Yeah, well, I ain't talking about swimming, Barbs, am I? Nor was I. Well, what then? In the river, like you. What, in the Thames? Near us? Yeah, that's when I saw, you know, Patsy and that funny bloke. I was having a swim then. Yeah? Well, you want to watch it, son. Different kettle of fish, the old Thames is. I don't swallow nothing. No, you don't want to, neither. But it's the current, isn't it, with the Thames? That's interesting, though. I never thought anybody had the bottle to do that round our way. What's your dad say? He don't know. <laughs> No. Like me, eh? Excuse me, mate. Where'd they keep the boats round here? Boats? What boats? What are the cabin cruisers and that? Don't keep them anywhere round here. It's Queenborough you want. That's where they moor them. Queenborough? Oh, we've just come through there. Well, you shouldn't have done, should you? You should have got off. Well, what time's the next train back? Two hours. Two hours? Well, ain't there a bus or something? It's only a couple of miles, Chief. You can walk it. Oh, have a bit of sense, mate. He's not built for walking, is he? Swimming, yeah, but not walking. Well, what about a cab? They have heard of cabs around here, I suppose. Over there. Right, we'll have a quick cup of tea and get a cab. There's a calf across the road. Thanks very much. Um. I'm just one of the lucky nights when I'm a guest. Hey, you'll need these and all the way you're going. As soon as you've had that, we'll get back to as quick as we can, see if we can find that boat. If it's there, there's going to be eruptions, I tell you. There'll be even more if she ain't. What do you reckon? I mean, you know, Patsy, what's the chances she died on a boat? She ain't stupid enough to go with strangers. She was stupid enough to run away, wasn't she? A girl with a good home like that. I mean, what made her do it? Well, you know her. I mean, you were pretty close. You didn't have any secrets from each other, did you? I mean, something she might have told you private-like. Look, what I mean is... You don't know something I don't know, do you? No, can't think of nothing. No, not at all. Her takes a drink. Look at that naughty son of my nice. Looks as if the master's wrong. going out, man. Has anybody seen Bob? No, he's getting into his car. Yeah. What? He's not gone already, is he? <laughs> well, silly. <laughs> well, as long as our young star isn't leaving us, 
I mean, we can manage without Bob at a pinch, but not without our Patsy. <laughs> Wild horses wouldn't drag Patsy away, would they, love? Hey? No. I expect you're missing your mum and dad, though. Why, well, pity they can't be there to see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Look, I'll get one of my friends to go up in the van and bring them down. Oh, no. Don't matter. Oh, it's no trouble. I mean, you'd like them to be there, wouldn't you? No, it's... It's Chase and see. They'll be at the hospital all the time. Hey, don't worry, love. We understand. You did post that copy wrote, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I slipped out. Well, then, they'll know how you're getting on. Listen. We're all going to pop into town for a drink. What would you like to do? You can come with us and we'll find a place with a garden or you can stay on the boat. I'll stay on the boat. Suit yourself. I'll be all right. Now, you stay on that boat. Don't go wandering off. Well, listen, let's walk Patsy back to the boat first and then go on to the pub from there. What do you all say? Okay. Right. Yeah. I shall try to find Bob. Oh, you love, want... tell him his shirt's ready, will you? Okay. Patsy and I are going on ahead. Pete? Hey, hold on. Yeah, oh, there's the boats over there. Let's walk along this jetty. We'll have a look at them. Well? No, it's not one of those. <sighs> Wild goose chase. Here, we'll ask somebody. Excuse me, mate. You haven't seen... Oh, hold on a minute. We're looking for a boat. Tell them what it looks like. Well, it's just a boat, only big sort of, with two masts and black paintwork with a white line around it. It's all right now. What's your business? Business of a missing person. Well, it's my daughter, as it happens. Little girl about so big. She's run away from London. London? Stop press. London girl missing. 12-year-old London schoolgirl, Patricia Blythe, four feet, nine blue eyes, light brown hair, wearing a pink dress, went missing yesterday. That's right, that's her. I'm her father. Well, I haven't seen her. But I have seen a boat like the one you mentioned. Yeah. Biggish one, black, with two masks. Were here last night. A kind of sailing barge. But I don't remember a girl like that, though. You didn't see it leave, did you? I did. Yeah, when? About midday. Do you know where it was going? One of them said they were making for steeple stones. Steeple stones? Well, where's that? I had a, what's the quickest way there? You can't get a bus part of the way. Where? Where from? Over there. If I were in your possession, I'd go to the police station. If you reckon she's on that boat, they'll drive you around the steeple stones within the hour. Yeah. Thanks, mate. Not at all. Now, we'll go as far as we can tonight, then we'll kip down in a pub somewhere, make an early start in the morning. What about the police? Forget the police. We've done all right without them so far. We'll keep them out of it, unless we have to. And you're quite sure there's nobody else you could be with, Mrs. Green? Well, I've tried all her friends that I know of. Well, she might have some other friends, but school's on holiday, and she don't talk much to me these days. Well, I've been too busy with him, see? He's, he's an handful by himself. Yes, I can believe that, Mrs. Green. Yeah. I've had too little time for Patsy. And now she's gone. Oh, she'll be back, love. She took her clothes, didn't she? Yeah. You don't know anything about that boat? We've alerted the river police, but that Kenny Granger was pretty vague. I think it's a non-starter myself. So, you have made no progress at all? I'll let you know the minute we have, Mrs. Green. How about your husband? Has he had any luck? He's still out looking. He hasn't come up with anything yet, but at least he's doing something. <laughs> uh, no, not a room to be had for love no money. I'll stuff the pubs. We're showing we don't need anybody. Come on, better get weaving. It'll be dark soon. Come on.
Right, well, this will do nicely, won't it? Are you sleeping in here? Yeah, how does that grab you? Great. Right, now look, I've got a couple of things to do, all right? Make yourself at home. See you later. Where are you going? Not far. Fifteen miles. Railway. No, no, not tonight. No, it's too late and there ain't no transport. Or oh, we'll have to stay the night somewhere. Ken, of course he'd be all right. Yeah, I know he's delicate, but I'll look after him. Listen, Mrs. Granger, nip upstairs, will you? Tell my Sylvia what we've done. And don't worry about Ken. He'll be sleeping in the lap of luxury. I will. Yeah, ta-da! It's only me. Do you believe it? I forgot my tobacco. Well, what have you been up to while the others have been out? I've been pretending, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're very good at that, Patsy, aren't you? Pretending. I've been trying to make myself look like Ruth. You know, glamorous. I see. She's very good as Ruth. Acting. That row you have at the beginning, it's just like real life. She's as good as a professional. You both are. Oh, it's very nice of you to say so. It's not true in my case. I mean, Ruth, she's had some training, but not me. No, I'm just an ordinary working man. Well, what do you work at? Me? Well, let's talk about that some other time, shall we? I think we ought to talk about something else, don't you? You're Patsy Bly, aren't you? That young lass who ran away from home. No, my name's Green. You've got the wrong person, honest. Oh, come off it, Patsy. You're not Green, and I'm not Green either. You're Patsy Bly. That's the truth, isn't it? How'd you find out? Yeah. London gal runs away from home. Remember? Just put two and two together. We told the others. No, not yet. I wanted to talk to you first. Would you like to tell me all about it, before they get back? Why you ran away? I was just fed up with it at home. I was always, you know, getting into trouble. And it kept hitting me and my dad. What for? Nothing in particular. I perhaps had a reason for it. Had you thought of that? You know, it was very naughty of you playing that trick with that letter, pretending you had permission to come with us. I could have got into serious trouble, you realise that? I'm going to have to give you up, you know that, don't you? But what about the play? It's better with Peggy. Pete said that. And everybody said I did it properly. Yeah, of course you did. That's not the point, is it? I mean, I get carried away too, but... Well, real life's more important than a play. But you don't know him. You don't know my dad. He'll kill me. He ain't my dad at all, really. You just turned me mum against me. Nobody wants me, except for you and the others. I'm sure that's not true. It is. It is true. I wish you and my dad, Joe, then I never have to go away. Never. 
It's all right, love. It's all right. Look, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll let you stay two more days. You can do the performances if you then promise to go to the police with me. All right? That's a good girl. Now, I'll tell you what else I'll do. If you promise not to do anything daft, I'll try and smooth things over with your people. Make things easier for you. All right? Yeah, if you like. Come on, you two. We're all going to Lorne's house. We don't know the way. Oh, yeah. I'll be right with you. Are you coming too, Patsy? It'll be late when we get back. I'll, I'll bring her. She's just got to wash her face. She thinks so, too. Hurry up. Oh, you've been ages. I've been down the village, phoned your mum. What's all this? What'd you tell her? Enough to keep her happy. Where'd that lamb come from? Found it in that corner. Oh, yeah? Who lit it, you? Well, good boy, son. You want to be careful, though, don't you? Don't want any accidents in here, do we? I'll make myself comfortable, then. Oh. <sighs> Much more cosy. Fancy a bit of supper? Yeah. Where'd you get those from? Down that lousy pub. Still, better than nothing, isn't it? You done this sort of thing before? What? Living rough, you mean? Yeah. And I taught myself from reading. Books? Nah, papers. Well, I read about this murderer that hid himself in the woods and, and built a bivouac. That's a sort of shelter, you know, but all camouflaged. Then one day when I fell out with my old man, I done it myself. Lived in this shelter. Only for a weekend, like, but... It was great, getting free, being my own boss. Did they find you? Nah. I got fed up and come out. I got one hell of a walloping for that. Boy, it was worth it. Yeah. Funny, I'd forgotten all that. Till today. And the swimming and the green towers. What were they used for, the green towers? Don't know. Storing things, I think, for loading onto ships, you know. Well, I used to climb up them, up a ladder. In the end, it come right out on the top. Well, the way the towers was built, even a little kid like me, you could, you could jump across in the middle where they nearly touched. Wasn't much of a jump, if you run at it direct, but you could make it harder for yourself by running from the side. And they want half iron all. See, it didn't matter how little the jump was, one slip and... Fifty feet down to your death. Don't mind swimming, but I wouldn't dare do that. No? Nah. You would if you had a dad like mine. Don't get it, dear son. Look. My old man and me, we, uh... We don't hit it off, right? I was small and... He was like a mountain, so I don't come out of it too strong, know what I mean? My mum stuck up for me now and again, but... Jesus, I couldn't do a thing right for him. Some dads are like that. Some days I hated his guts so much. I used to think of ways of how I was gonna kill him, you know, in the night. But I knew I'd never have the strength. So uh, I got used to letting it out in other ways, you know. Doing stupid things, taking risks. I was so damn miserable. See, I was either going to kill myself or prove to myself it didn't matter a toss what my old man thought of me. Because I had guts. Well, oh, never told anybody all this before. There you are, good at Danny. And when we've had our supper, we'll kip down in the A. You uh don't mind a haystack, do you, son? Of course not.
Oi, vai cá. Come on, son. No time to waste. I've already given you half hour extra. Got a bit of breakfast here. Macbeth herself. You're gonna give us a sleepwalking soon, love? Had a bad night. Sort of. Never mind. Get some coffee. You'll be your old self in no time. Yes. I need a knife, really. Wait a minute. You're full of surprises, aren't you, son? So. This. Yeah, got it off the milkman. The bus is running yet. They will be. There's a station nearby. We'll go there. Maybe I can get you cleaned up a bit. I don't know what your mum would say. Trouble is, I don't know which way to go. I can remember. I don't mean that. I mean whether we should go on to Steeple Stones or turn around and go home. I've got a feeling Pat's is not on the boat, Ken. I take odds a little madam still up in Deptford. Me and you are running around here like a couple of idiots. I don't want to go home. Eh? Um, I mean, I don't want to go home without her. She was definitely on that boat. How do you know? Well, I've seen her on it. Well, you've never said that before. It must have been her. Was she wearing a cardigan? No, I don't think so. What colour was the dress? Pink. That was her, all right. Get that milk, Daniel. We'll be off. Come on. Steeple Stones. She's here, Ken. I can feel it in me bones. And if she is, I've got her. 